What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Today's video, we're going to be focusing on our base zone coverage. Remember I told you guys uh, that the base zone coverage comes from the cover three. We talked about that earlier on in the week. Uh, there's a specific way you want to set this play up uh, when you're running the base play. Now we're running the base zone, so let's go over that. Um, so base zone, baseline, uh, no press out of this D. Um, shift your line to the left, shift your linebackers to the right. And what we like to do is the same pressure that we set up prior to this uh, video. Uh, Reblitz, Irvin, contain Mabane, quarterback, um, our deep blue Bryant, quarterback spy Clemens, and then quarterback contain Averill on the backside here. And then I like to do two purples with my safeties. And then what I like to do is take these guys, put them in hook zones. I like to use the disguise cushion technique. So yes, you are making a lot of adjustments on this play, but the pressure's decent. And again, you're just using the middle. And I love about this this play is even if they tried to bomb you deep, Red Bryant for some reason just gets gets back on it. That was a crazy catch by Miller, but for some reason he just gets back. I don't know what it is, um, but a lot of times they won't do that. So real quick, it's really just cycling through your guys. I mean here, cycle through. So you're going blitz, contain, deep blue, um, whoops, deep blue, spy, contain, yellow, purple, purple, yellow, disguise cushion. And then if I could ever get back on the middle linebacker. And you're just going to sit in the A-gap. The idea here, again, is you're just playing good coverage defense. Yes, like I said, this play does take a while to set up. Um, and that's the one vulnerability to it. Now, I'll get, that's the advanced setup for those of you advanced. If you want the easy easy version, um, then what I want you to do is I want you to just base a line. Shift your linebackers to the right. Shift your D-line to the left. And you're just going to purple urban you're going to uh, purple chancellor and then you're just gonna flat something like that and that's just a that's just a really good max coverage defense out of the out of the zone so you flatted the two DTs and then you purple the safety you purple the whoever was in the flats basically is what you did so real quick let's re let's review that one more time uh, this is the easy version base the line shift your linebackers to the right shift your D line to the left Purple, um, flat Averill, purple Chancellor, flat him, um, a Bane, quarterback spy that guy, and basically you just have a really good diamond over the middle of the field. The idea here is you're just going to use that left side middle and jump back on that, and then you just kind of flow around with right. You have decent coverage, really good coverage actually, and you got one guy coming. The only problem with this is it doesn't have the best pressure, but again, um, you know, that's just part of it. So there we go, set it up pretty quickly that time. And what you could also do, if you don't want to waste the time of hot riding Averill and Chancellor, then just put Averill in the purple, and you could leave Chancellor in the flat. That's no problem at all. It's not going to be that big of a deal to the play. It's going to be the same coverage, just different people going there. So again, and you're just trying to watch that middle. The middle's tender on this play. But again, uh, you know that's your job, and that's why we put you in the middle um, because you can you can handle the user control. So again, something like basically you're just doing this, and you're in the middle of the field. So that's our base zone, guys. A lot of times people will start getting used to the heavy coverage against man. And they'll try to start throwing slants and stuff like that. If they try to throw that against this defense, they're going to get intercepted. So that's why we like to have a base zone to mix up with our base band in second and short situations. Be sure to come back tomorrow. We're going to break down the run defense from the 52. 52 probably has one of the better run defenses in the game. Thanks for watching today. Be sure to subscribe for more Madden 25 content. If you like this video, be sure to retweet it on Twitter. And also, if you could do me a favor and leave your feedback, what you guys thought of the video, the commentary, and uh, the overall quality of the video. Thanks for watching today, guys. See you tomorrow.